Hi, welcome to Health and Science. Today we are going to talk about colorectal cancer also known as bowel cancer. In this video we will also shed light on how the colorectal cancer develops, what causes colorectal cancer, sign, symptoms and how we can reduce the risk of developing bowel cancer. We will also discuss the potential remedies research to help cure colorectal cancer. If you are interested in more health and science related research topics please subscribe to our channel. Colorectal cancer, also known as bowel cancer, is a malignant growth in the colon and rectum. Tumors may grow in the right colon, left colon, or rectum. Colorectal cancer is the most common cause of cancer death worldwide, accounting for more than 4 in 10 cancer deaths. In UK, it is the fourth most common cancer and the leading cause of cancer death. Over 40,000 people are diagnosed with colorectal cancer yearly, and 268,000 people live with the disease. More than 16,500 people die of colorectal cancer in the UK every year, and 45% of the deaths are in females, and 55% are in males, 2017 to 2019. It used to be more common in people above 50 years, however, there is an increase in the younger population developing colorectal cancer. So what causes colorectal cancer, and how does it develop? Malignant growth arises from the polyp. Normal cells divide and replace dead cells that have gone through apoptosis, programmed cell death. Typically, this is how cells are regulated, old damaged cells go through cell death, and new cells replace them. Mutations in specific genes can cause cells to continue dividing even when new cells aren't needed. This unregulated growth can cause polyps to form. Polyps can develop anywhere in your large intestine. In cancer cells, colorectal cells, in this case, develop through a series of genetic modifications that transforms normal colonic epithelium into an adenoma and then ultimately adenocarcinoma. Colorectal cancer often takes many years to grow, around 5 to 15 years, and nearly all colon and rectal cancer cases start as a polyp. Most of these polyps will not become malignant, cancerous, but some can slowly become cancer over time. Let's look at risk factors and how they can influence the development of colorectal cancer, but first of all, let's see what risk factor means. A risk factor is anything that increases a person's chance of developing cancer. Most risk cancers do not directly cause cancer but influence the development of cancer. There could also be two or three risk factors simultaneously causing effect together. Cancers, particularly in adults, have been associated with repetitive exposures or risk factors. What are the risk factors of colorectal cancer? Firstly, it is important to note that sporadic cases accounts for over 95% of all colorectal cancer. Therefore, majority of the cases is not inherited. The mutation in the genes occurs by chance. However, research have shown the following factors may raise a person's risk of developing colorectal cancer. 1. Age. It is most common over the age of 50. 2. Dietary and environmental factors have been etiologically implicated. 3. Inherited. Colorectal cancer could be inherited. Inherited colorectal cancers are less common, about 5% to 10%, and occur when gene mutations, or changes, are passed within a family from one generation to the next. 4. Race. Black people have the highest rates of sporadic, or non-hereditary, colorectal cancer. 5. Gender. Data shows that men are at greater risk of developing colorectal cancer than women. It is estimated 1 in 15 men and 1 in 18 women will be diagnosed with bowel cancer during their lifetime. Other risk factors includes Inflammatory bowel disease, IBD Personal history of certain types of cancer Adenomatous polyps, adenomas Food, diet Smoking Low fiber intake Eating a lot of red and processed meat A diet low in fruits and vegetables Lack of regular exercise, alcohol consumption and tobacco use. Now, let's discuss about the signs and symptoms of colorectal cancer. 1. 
changing in bowel habits including constipation or diarrhea that lasts more than few days. 2. Trouble going to the toilet. 3. Blood in stool. 4. Stool that appear narrow than usual. This may be caused by the tumor that is present in the colon obstructing the stool from coming out therefore, the shape of the stool become think and look like pencil-shaped stool. 5. Abdominal pain or discomfort may be caused by partial or complete obstruction by the tumor. 6. Loss of appetite or weight loss. 7. Unexplained tiredness. Diagnosis. Diagnosis of colorectal cancer typically requires colonoscopy. This is a procedure in which a flexible fiber optic instrument is inserted through the anus in order to examine the colon, take picture of the abnormal looking polyps, and get a biopsy. Second test is fecal occult blood test. This test is often performed to check for evidence of gastrointestinal bleeding. Third test is tumor marker CEA. Typically, in colorectal cancer there is elevation in tumor marker CEA. This is the most common tumor marker for colorectal cancer. It stands for carcinoembryonic antigen, CEA. However, this is not very specific. Blood tests for this tumor marker can sometimes suggest someone might have colorectal cancer, but they can't be used alone to screen for or diagnose cancer. Fourth test is barium enema. Barium enema can be useful as well. This is when a liquid is injected into the rectum through a small tube. And an X-ray is taken to look for abnormalities in the colon. In a barium enema test, a classical sign of colorectal cancer is an apple core sign. This shows the constriction of the lumen, typically in the descending colon. When colorectal cancer is found at an early stage before it has spread, the five-year relative survival rate is about 90 percent but only about four out of ten colorectal cancers are found at this early stage so early diagnosis increases the chances of survival treatment of colorectal cancer treatment of colorectal cancer normally depends on the stage of the cancer for early stages where tumor is confined to the walls of the colon are usually resected for the tumor that has spread to the lymph nodes are often treated with chemotherapy. Metastatic are difficult to treat. Metastasis means that the cancer cells have spread beyond the colon to other organs. This is also referred to as advanced colon cancer or stage 4 colon cancer. Surgery is one way to treat metastatic colorectal cancer. Chemotherapy may be recommended to reduce symptoms and prolong survival. Colon cancer that has spread to other organs often requires a combination of different treatments. These may include surgery, chemotherapy, image-guided therapies, such as MRI and CT, radiation therapy, targeted therapies and immunotherapy. What aggravate colorectal cancer? Data shows that high sugar intake can lead to obesity and obesity is a risk factor of colorectal cancer. So too much sugar for cancer patients is not recommended. 2. Foods high in saturated fat. Foods that are high in saturated fat, including fat dairy like butter and many processed snack and foods. Research has found that eating a diet low in saturated fat may help improve treatment outcomes. 3. Reduce caffeine intake. Caffeine increase acidity in the stomach and can aggravate symptoms such as nausea and diarrhea. Some studies have shown that acidic environments help cancer cells grow. So avoiding caffeine may be beneficial to colorectal cancer patients. 4. In 2015 the World Health Organization classified processed meats as carcinogen and recommended should avoid eating too much processed meat. Meat spreads may contain chemicals that are unfriendly to the lining of your colon. If you have colon cancer, your colon is already sensitive and these meats may only aggravate any symptoms you are already experiencing. 5. Fried foods. Fried foods take time to digest and may sit in your stomach for prolonged time. This increase your risk of acid reflux and can aggravate symptoms of colon cancer. Foods and spices that have been researched to have effect on colorectal cancer. Curcumin. Curcumin has been found to carry anti-cancer effects that can be mediated by several mechanisms, 
which result in reduced cell growth and increased apoptosis. Though, most of the studies were conducted on vitro, and few on vivo. The authors encourage more studies to explore the benefits of curcumin in vivo. Another review published on 2013 look at colorectal cancer, Chema preventive role of curcumin and resveratrol concluded that numerous studies, both preclinical and clinical, have well established the anti-cancer potential of curcumin and resveratrol. In both of these naturally occurring compounds, newer analogs and or drug delivery systems need to be explored. 2. Antioxidant fruits when you are being treated for or recovering from cancer, your food choices are incredibly important. For example, berries are packed with fiber, vitamin C, and manganese. There are good evidence to indicate these fruits have strong anti-cancer fighting effects. I hope you like this video on colorectal cancer. Please subscribe to my channel if you find the video useful. Thanks for watching.